Most evenings, just around dusk, this is where you'll find Robert Krauss on his wheelchair, pushing as hard as he can up and down his street. Krauss is in training. His training may look a bit different as both of his legs are paralyzed, but then the sport he's training for looks a bit different. A member of Team USA and a contender for the Olympic Games, Krauss plays the sport of wheelchair rugby. Most people, when you first tell them that you play wheelchair rugby, they, they just get the look like you, you do what? You, know, you can't do that. You know, and so, you know, most people, it's hard for people to envision what you do until they actually they, they see it. You know, it's one thing to explain wheelchair rugby, but when people actually see it, you know, if they watch a video of it, uh, or see you lot see it live, you know, it, it just really, I think, it really changes their opinion of what the sport is. Yeah, because it's hard to imagine guys in, in wheelchairs going out playing a rough, tough sport. You know, it just doesn't sound right. A cross between football, basketball, and soccer, this form of rugby features wheelchairs ramming into each other at every turn, creating a full contact sport like no other. Well, as soon as I played it. You know, I just fell in love with it, you know, full contact, you know, I, I played football for 11 years and wrestled for several, and I just missed the, the, the team environment and, and the full contact aspect of sports. And all of a sudden here I am, you know, thrown into a, a chair that you can go out and hit somebody, and great, you know, this is awesome. From New Zealand to Sweden to London, Kraus has traveled the world playing wheelchair rugby for Team USA, which serves as a feeder for the U.S. Olympic team. But before all of that, there is the training. Really, I'll, I'll do a lot of sprints, um, step those up to where, you know, I'm doing basically at a 100% you know, effort. Uh, do several, maybe, you know, 50 yard sprints, really try to get going with those. And I'll step my uh, miles up quite a bit and really almost do those almost on a full sprint for a good 45 minutes to an hour at a time. Um, you know, I just got to get my heart rate up and, and get my endurance up as best as possible. That's pretty much the best way I train for these events. About three months from now, will be our tryouts, so I gotta make the I gotta make the team first. Then after that, then we'll have a couple more camps that I'll have to go to about once a month. You know, fly to Birmingham, uh, train with the team, and then uh, in 2006, then the team will fly to New Zealand and compete and try and qualify the U.S. for uh, the next Olympics in China. Kraus has already won numerous medals at world competitions, but never the Olympics. He was an alternate for the games in Greece and is determined that in 2008 he will be helping the U.S. team bring home the gold in China. But I want to compete at the highest possible level. You know, I've, I've done that on the world team a couple times and I've just missed out being on the Olympic team. Uh, and so that is my end goal. You know, I will not be satisfied until I make that team. I was an alternate in 2000 and I was an alternate in 2004. So I figured, you know, I've got to make 2008. You know, I can't be an alternate again. I've got to make the team. As you may have guessed, Krauss is not one to let life pass him by, always pushing the envelope, always proving that his condition is no limitation to what he can accomplish. Whether it be Olympic competition or skydiving, he continually sets his sights high. This feeling often spills over into his day job as a math teacher at Central Junior High. I think the little kids, are, they're always just up and like, like, you do what? You know, I think they get shocked, you know, and, and I think it does in the back of their minds make them think, oh man, if this guy in a wheelchair can do this, I can do this, you know, and whether it be, you know, make an A on a math test or, or uh, you know, run for student council or what have you, you know, it's, you know, so I think it definitely does help them uh, uh, strive for, for goals and, and set you know, high goals and aspirations for themselves. While teaching class does keep him busy, Krauss finds time to travel down to Houston monthly to play on a regional rugby team. And you may have noticed by now, wheelchairs in rugby are a bit unusual, reminiscent of something you might find in a Mad Max movie. Uh, most of the chairs have a lot of metal around the frame to uh, present, prevent them from getting damaged. You know, you, you know you're, gonna, you're gonna be hitting you know, so you want the metal to hit, not your legs. So around our feet, we have uh, metal and stuff like that. It's, it's basically, it's called wings on our chairs. We call them wings. While the wings offer good protection, they don't make training any easier. With no local team to play on, Krauss has to compensate through these evening sessions. But he'll be the first to tell you the hard work pays off, taking him to heights he never thought possible. Never in, the, in the, you know, my wildest dreams ever thought that I'd be 
you know, trying out for a team that could possibly win a gold medal at the Olympic Games. You know, that's not something I ever fantasized I would be doing, you know, until the last few years. But he is doing it, proving to himself, his students, and everyone else that few things can stand in the way of the human spirit.